have to be one of a group one of the drivers one of the teachers one of the doctors one of the dummy one of the Muslims one of the Balbula let us go to different translation maybe this one is mistaken because no way in here the Muslim they are saying this word mean one huh let us go to a uh, Sh uh, Shaker translation Sacred translation agreeing with me again if one of the idolaters one of those you see one off this is what this mean I had one off you have to add something after it this is a wrong language actually because it's making rubber music it seems making a song let us see different you know uh, we can go all over the Quran the Quran is full of a had full of them and all of it is coming as one off one off but the Muslims in here, because they are ashamed of this word, because this word does not make a mean, saying Allah is one off. It's saying that Allah is Ahad. He is the God of the idols, Ahad, one of the gods of the, uh, the, the, uh, the statues. There's is, there is many gods was around the Kaaba. One of them is Akbar. That's why the Muslims, they say Allah wa Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Who mean and. Who Akbar. There was two biggest gods, the most important ones, Allah and Akbar. So what Muhammad he did, he merged all those gods together. He said, you see that God Ahad, he is, Allah is Ahad. He is Ahad. He's the same one. Allah is Akbar. He's the same one. Actually, there is a God the Muslim used to worship, actually the pagans used to worship before, before Muhammad. His name is Ar-Rahman. And for a long time, Muhammad even never used the word Allah. He was always using the word Ar-Rahman. Now, you know, I want to go just a little bit with the Muslims, you know. If we assume that this word means Allah is one, which is not saying that, and I showed you with the proof, then how you explain to me in chapter 23, verse number 14, and chapter 37, verse 125, it says that Allah is the best of the creators. If we go to the first one, chapter 23, verse 14, you will see Allah, the one is talking who is Allah. If the one is talking, how, he, how dare you to say that you are the only one God, as the Muslims claim, and then you say you are the best of the creators, so he is one of creators. There's many creators, as we showed you that Jesus is a creator too. <laughs> but he has more skills. This is funny. So now what, what is created around us is created by many creators. We don't know how many they are, and Allah is the best of the creators. And by the way, they have to be more than two, because you can't say creators for only two. Al Khaliqeen. So Allah Himself is saying to us, There is many creators, I am the best of them. I, you know, isn't it foolish to compare yourself with someone something that exists? Because if there is no creators, it's just stupid to say, I am the best of the creators. So the stupidity of this God that He is you know, supposedly the Muslim saying to us that He is the only creator, and then He say He is the only the best of the creators. This is madness. If there is no other creator save you, and you made them creators, unknown number. The same in the other verse. The same as the other verse we see in here. Here we go. You can go different translation, whatever you want. Chapter 37, verse 125. Some translation try to fix it, by the way. They take the word creators out. Here we go. Allah, the one who is saying, he is the best of the creators is Allah and actually how Allah define God he says is the one who create is the same as the one who create not look in verse number 7 one, 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 nine, one, it says they are sharing uh, taking partner with the one who create not so taking partner is what according to this verse is taking if you take if you worship the one who create not you are taking partners a beach Muslim listen carefully this is not my words look do you you know do they indeed ascribe to him as partner things that cannot can create nothing so what does that mean it means only you can worship the one who can create well you told me in the in the Quran that Jesus he is a creator you see, this is the logic of Allah, guys. He is saying you cannot, you should not worship the one who create nothing. Okay, no problem. I will go with this. 
we should not worship the one who created nothing. But in the same time, you showed us in the other different verse in the Quran that Jesus, he created from the mud, from the clay, a bird. Like, what's wrong with this God? In verse 16, chapter 16, verse number 17, he's saying, Is the one who create, is the sum as the one who create not? What? So, how we knew who is God, who is not? The one who can create to you. Now, the Muslim, they would say to me, again, that Jesus was a creator because God gave him ability. But Allah, he says, that worship the one who can create. And the verse in the front of you. <laughs> look, look at this crazy religion. Their God saying to them, you should worship only the one who can create. Okay. In the same time, in the same book, he's saying to us that Jesus, he can create. Like, man. If there is others they can create, why you are telling us to know who is the real God? Know, find out who can create, who can create not. This is madness. But at the end of the day, brother, sister, I'm a Muslim, and I'm going to go one day to the heaven, and I'm going to get 70 duvers then. And Allah will make my penis in that palm tree, you know, as the hadith says, in this palm tree penis, and 72 women, and this Muslim woman, she will be in the heaven as a sex toy. And look what their prophet, he promised them, guys. He promised them that Muslim women in the heaven, they will be 70 times more pretty. 70 times more pretty, which means nothing happened. Because if we have, if we have two women, as an example, one, her name is, one is, her name is Fatima, the other one, her name is Aisha. Fatima is a three times more pretty from Aisha. And, and both now, they will go to heaven. <clears throat> which means both of them, they will be 70 times more pretty. But nothing changed. Because Fatima already is a three times more than Aisha pretty, 70, that will make her 210. When Aisha, she will be 70 times pretty, the other woman, she will be 210 more points. Let us make it like points. Huh? More pretty. So still nothing happened, nothing changed. You was ugly in earth, you will be ugly in heaven. Because remember, beauty is about percentage. So even, and even the promise is silly. You know, Muhammad is speaking to women, and he thinks those women, they have silly mentality, they are stupid, all of them, they are all what they want just to be pretty. To be pretty for who? Ah, you be pretty to be a whore in the bed of somebody just to have sex with you. You see, because the Muslim woman at the end, she is herself, she is a gift of someone. She will not have gifts, she will be a gift. Please, please, listen, pray with me, please, brother, speak, listen to me, please. This Islam makes make sense, yeah, Islam makes sense. You will be a sex toy in the heaven, and that makes sense. And Allah will make the penis of a man in this palm tree. Actually, I advise people to read this chapter in the Quran uh, because this chapter alone, uh, the chapter of Al-Waqa, chapter 56, uh, uh, verse number 20. Uh, you can read it from verse number 13, etc. Uh, you will see in here the, the promise of the, the heaven is simply is a joke. This guy is playing with your mind. You know, immortal boys, they will be around you, serving you forever. You know, do you, do you think God he will abuse boys to serve me? The boys, they need somebody to serve them. There is a video, it's called The Description of Paradise by the Dean Show. Go and watch it and laugh. 70,000 boys <clears throat> for every Muslim. You know, what kind of God he will give me 70,000 boys for what? 70,000 boys? This is the oneness of God? He will give me 70. Why Muhammad is stuck with the number 70? And where they will live? And what I will do with them? What they will do to me? You know, who in the world when he needs 70,000? But you know, the stupid things about Islam, guys. Uh, I'm trying to make the video short, but this woman, she make me really <laughs> go, go for it. Uh, you know, uh, you in the heaven, you will not dirt. You will not have poo poo. Huh? Uh, uh, you know, and the funny, they say to you that, uh, that uh, uh, in heaven we are different, at the same time they have sex, they eat, huh? where, the, where the food will go? Where is the food is going? It stay there. You know, uh, uh, you, eat, you eat a chicken, where is the bones will stay? There's no garbage. W what happened? Some of the Muslims, they say, after you eat the chicken, the bones will become a chicken again. MashaAllah, brother. Now look in here, 70,000 boys just to serve you. 
Like, can't you tell that this is a guy is making fun of you? Because how many time you need to eat a day? What kind of service they can do? You, your clothes will never get dirty. You need. You will never take a shower. Your your clothes will never be damaged. So there is no dirt. There is no dust. There is no cleaning. And food. You say. You know. You see a bird flying in the sky. You say, "Mashallah." The bird will be in your dish in a second. So what the servant for? Those are boys who will never bleed. Layin zifun. They are going to be for for the joy of sex. Gulman. The word gulman is coming from gulma. The one who uh, have an extra sexual desire for he is young. This is the original meaning. Now it can be used just for boys, no problem. But this is the original meaning. And in the heaven it's coming only in this way because those boys they will be walking totally naked around you and they are very pretty. Handsome boys. And look, the God of Islam is, is fooling us by uh, cups made from a crystal and full, you know, uh, 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 full of wine. I thought wine is from Satan. A verse saying that gambling and wine is from Satan and, f and suddenly we find that wine is following us to heaven. It sounds like Allah is going to buy it from, from Satan. If you go and read the <coughs> more of description of this story in here, you will see that the story itself showing us how, how stupid and dummy Islam is. A promises of, of, uh, of deception you know like saying Allah saying to me I will give you a bed a raised couches because those Arab they never have couches only the Persian and the Roman they have it so for them it was a big deal like imagine somebody telling you if you believe in me I will give you a couch and you will be you know reclaiming on those couches like wow <clears throat> hard to believe Abdul we will be reclaiming in those couches Wow, man, this is fantasy.